All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. My name is Judson Powell. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, please hit the notification button. And um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I want to talk about white supremacy and white nationalism. First of all, um, we need to, uh, first of all, talk about a friend of mine I just got finished uh, talking to, and we need to become sober-minded as Africans and descendants of Africans, descendants of slaves, whatever we call ourselves right right now. And I know that's, that's one of the big, uh, there's a lot of contention about that. So I want everybody to realize, like, 100%, like, that we have to claim Africa and because it's 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 our home it's it's the motherland so no matter where you ended up in the diaspora no matter where you ended up on the face of the earth no matter where you are or no matter where you know your immediate ancestors came from all of your original ancestors came from Africa so all of these fractions and that's why I don't really put up with a lot of people and then you know and they're troll you know I got trolls you know I'm on, I'm on suspension on Facebook and everything but we need to become sober minded and we have to start thinking free thinking free thinking and thinking for ourselves and, and stop allowing we know it's like we have things that we know just like for example don't allow people to tell you stuff that you know is not true or don't listen to stuff that you know is not true. For example, like inventions. Like I always talk about uh, inventions. Basically everything that has been invented since the 16th century has been invented by who? By Africans or the descendants of Africans. There's pretty much nothing on the face of the earth that any other race of people have invented. They have stolen our inventions. <laughs> but they haven't created or invented anything. And, and including things like the cell phone, the automobile, uh, even, even when we talk about 5G, the towers and the device, we discovered vibration and the fact that, that, we, that there were different wavelengths floating throughout the, the planet centuries ago. Centuries ago. So when they, and then now, you know, I've been noticing because you know, me and my wife, we argued the other night, not argued, argued like that, but argued in the, in the form of, I was like, she was sitting there and she was watching some National Geographic or something like that. And this, and this dude was on there talking about how aliens, you know, they, they, they got this theory that, that we didn't build nothing that aliens were sent from outer space built the pyramids created all the artwork you know all the mayan temples and all this kind of stuff and i'm looking at this stuff and i'm like y'all are ridiculous you know and, and so it got me upset I'm, I'm gonna be i was the one that got upset she wasn't upset but i was just like and i get upset with people when they start just like people sit up there and you know you got people that will sit up there and they will fight you fight you not to be African. They will fight you not to be from Africa. And it's and it's crazy. It's the most ridiculous no matter where you are, whether you consider yourself to be a native where whether you were native to this land, you know, whether but the way they got to this land is is because we invented sailing and we invented ships and all of that. That's how they got here. Same thing with Aborigines, just like that's if I, I think that's what the this documentary that she was watching last night was about Aborigines and they were showing the Aboriginal art that's, you know, that's in caves and stuff like that in Australia. And I was like, OK, and, it, and it's logical. Why? And, and the funny thing about this is, is that wherever you find this stuff, you know, people talk about, well, there's there's artwork like even here in Arizona, in the Grand Canyon there are there are artifacts which suggest that they came from africa and even the even the, the the symbolism of the spirituality and all of that 
it's all the same no matter where you go just like the same the same symbolism that they found in Kemet they found in Kush they found in Ethiopia they have found in the in the Mayan the Incan the Aztecs all of these all of these people are the same people and and then that's why and then last night I got into a thing about talking and they were talking about you know this whole thing Africa versus China and then, you know, they were like, well, boycott everything. I was like, look, but everybody that has stores in your neighborhoods are not Chinese. That's just like if they, if they came up to you and said, oh, all black people are the same. And we know all black people are not the same. We're diverse. We're, we're not, you know, we are diverse. We have, we're in color, shape, size, uh, everything. And that's why we're so great. That's, 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 the, that's our greatness. And I'm trying to tell them, I'm like, look, you realize that that Asians came from Africa, that they migrated, that they migrated from Africa, just like one of the Eskimos. They're black people. <laughs> they have melanin. They are melanated people. That's why I told you, and and, and even and back in the day, Doctor, um, oh, what am I saying? Not Doctor, but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. When he when he mentioned the fact that that's why there are two creation stories in the Bible, and I and I laid it out. I got a teaching on there talking about who our ancestors said were the, the people who were in the human race, human, right, and who they who they respected as being human, and they did it by even though we try to you know sit up there we try not to do it by color. Or whatever, but he, but they were like the the comedic priests were like, look, the only people in the human race are yellow, which would be, you know, red, which would be brown, which would be black, which would be. I mean, just roll with me. I'm just trying to tell y'all, and that's what. So so that's why white supremacy. And I believe that that's the origin of racism, white supremacy, and all that. And the reason why they pit us against each other is is because that's is basically you know the uh, a microcosm of the Willie Lynch letter, P pit us against one another instead of if we all realize that we're all the same people. And you know what? Even being here in Arizona and being around a lot of a lot of Mexicans, you know, <laughs> and Mexicans, they. They keep it real, you know. They they talk about this stuff, and I, which I didn't, you know, which I really didn't know. I didn't, you know, I didn't realize, you know, that they that they talk about the they talk about white supremacy. They talk about white supremacy all the time and white nationalism and all this because they're victims of it. They're vic they're victims just like we are, and that's why I try to tell even even the Asians that are here. Most of them are Koreans or Vietnamese. They're not Chinese. And the reason why the Koreans and the Vietnamese are here is why? Because we invaded their countries and we bought them here. America bought them here. They're not here just because they got here. They're here because of war. The Korean War, the Vietnam War, where, you know, when those soldiers went over there, what did they do? They procreated with those women. That's what I'm trying to, you know, so you have to understand. That's why I tell people you have to understand history. It's not that they're, that they're just over here. They're over here for a reason. They, you know, they were, they were in, they were in Korea or in Vietnam or in Laos or in Cambodia. You know, you don't realize everybody, you know, you think, oh, just because they look, they look or oriental or they look asian that they're chinese but those people are not chinese and even the beefs that are starting right now you know i said months ago don't don't let anybody else in africa that was what that's what that's what got Gaddafi killed if you know all these theories that you see about Gaddafi and all this stuff the thing that got Gaddafi killed is that Gaddafi wanted the united states of africa and he wanted a one african currency that had nothing to do with the world bank and now we have currencies like that. That's what Bitcoin and all those things, all these currencies that are out here, that's what they are. 
that's what they are. They're cur their currencies, and now you you see more. Even even some of the United States, even some of the states in the United States are going towards what a gold standard or a silver standard, which is what we used to be based on. Because the money that they're printing now, it ain't worth nothing. They're putting out a, a trillion dollars a week into the economy. And what's it worth? Nothing, because it's not backed by anything. It's just backed by them saying, okay, y'all can spend this money. And then you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna say, y'all owe us this money back. Now, white supremacy and white nationalism, white nationalism just means it's a, it's a form of white supremacy, but it just means that they want the United States for white people, and they don't want they don't want anybody else here. That's how come the the immigration policy. I'm just telling you, Trump is a white nationalist. That's what he is. He is a white nationalist, and he lies and deceives people in order to get you to believe that. The same thing, just like this whole coronavirus. You know, where they thought now it's like they got every black person in America in fear of dying from coronavirus. But you're not gonna die from coronavirus if your body is strong. And the other thing is, and they're trying to, and they're making a concerted effort. So if I bring you there, if I go in and I have a call, <coughs> I go in there, I call, for, <laughs> and they say, okay, let's, let's give you the test, and you test positive, which we know, and see, here's the other thing, we know that they didn't have any tests. At first, they had no test for this, and I don't even believe they have a test for it now. I think it's all a lie, but you know, that's my opinion. But you go in the hospital, if you go in the hospital, you end up on a ventilator, you die. Okay, they weren't trying to treat you. And people, and we, we see that black people have been turned away. All of the reports cannot be, you know, cannot be conspiracy theories. All these nurses, all these doctors, you know, people are coming up dead, people are coming up missing. People are, you know, people are like, wow, you know, uh, you, you and like I said, we have you know three, three or four nurses that have come out and just said, look, they're they when people when black people come in, they're just letting them die, or they're giving them the wrong treatment, and then they die, or whatever they have, whatever pre pre existing condition they have, they're dying from the pre existing condition. They're not dying from coronavirus, and the black doctors and all the black doctors are like, we can you know we can eradicate it. Look at all the countries that have eradicated, don't have any more new cases, nothing nothing else going on, but it just seems like the but the greatest country supposedly on the face of the earth can't eradicate it. And then they want to bring all this stuff into Africa, why? Because of white supremacy. Because of fear of a black planet. They do they are definitely afraid that the white race will become extinct because because it's the only race see like you if you like you can look at me i'm light-skinned so we know that what that the melanin <laughs> no matter what you say the melanin is there <laughs> right i got melanin you got melanin and all the other races the you know even including the chinese we all got melanin if we go, if, if you put, uh, uh, I remember, what was that meme? It said, like, if you put them in the sun, who's the real virus? You put them in the sun, they catch cancer and they die. You put me in the sun, I just turn beautiful. <laughs> I turn, I turn a, I turn a, a beautiful brown, right? Which is what the, and, and so that's why I keep saying, y'all got to realize what what they try to do. They, I mean, anything that we do, they try to discredit us or they steal it. And then they say that, that some Greek or some Roman person invented it or came up with it. It's not true. Stop believing this stuff and stop listening to people tell you this stuff. You know, and stop, you know, just like, you know, we, li we listen to this stuff and we've been saying this stuff for years. We know. So stop, stop going along with it. I mean, sometimes you just have to change your mind and make up your mind, become. And so going back to what my friend said, we just need, we just need a time to become sober, to become sober minded and get all the trash out of our minds. And I think, uh, I think uh, KRS-One said it the best. We have to relearn. You got to relearn. You cannot go by what, you know, what, Europeans have taught us what Caucasians have taught us over the years because it's designed to keep them in power and in control. And we're not against anybody. We don't hate anybody. It's just that we don't want people to hate on us. 
we not we not going around carrying guns down the street and shooting unarmed white men. That's that's not our goal. Our goal is just to be treated as what we are, human. Anyway, fast as 15 minutes is up. <laughs> I got more to say about this. <laughs> it's going to be another it's going to be a part 2 to this one cuz there's there's a lot more to this. Anyway, I love you all and um Anyway, <laughs> I got some more to say. <laughs>